Hello developers, in our today's video, we're going to set up a Telewin CSS within our Links.js application. And previous video, we created this counter application. So I'm going to just clone this application to my folder here in the build folder. So let's just run that git clone. And of course, you need to have git installed in your local machine to run this command. So lscd links should be counter app so code space dot now after cloning this application you just need to go through some kind of setup by which you can run this application in your uh, term in your uh, simulator i'm going to just make that uh, npmi so npmi to install all the dependency to run this application now this could be the application is done so what we're gonna do we're gonna set up the plugin which is uh, coming up for that the Telwin CSS plugin so that's the plugin we're gonna use which is coming from that RS build so here is all the setup to just uh, require the dependency and how you can go and combine all together so first thing first as you see is coming that npm telewin css3 that rs build plugin telewin cssd and other parameter so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna just run this command to just go through this uh, separation first of all let's just run that npm run dev to start spinning the app within our local environment so let's just go through it okay and of course you need to have that links explorer if you're having a doubt and any problem or any uh, like misconfiguration then just go back to the previous video the link it will be in the description and you can configure and just go and get up uh, get those things done so it's running our application that is the counter application which we created before so that's how we started so now what we can do we will also open our let's say the links adapt tool here just to get the configuration done so now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna open a new terminal and over here i need to install that npm you can just run the add command or you can run the install command and all command it will just go and pass you the same scenario you can either add npm add or either add npm install so now here we're going to use the telewin css3 not the 4 okay telewin css3 and rs build plugin a telewin css and that links just uh telewin preset all it will be in that double of pen uh dev dependency enter so what it gonna do it gonna install all of this dependency here within our application layer within our dev dependency parameter by which we will be able to rerun all of those things here so now you see what is installed so we are having that uh links js telwin of uh, preset and also we have the rs build plugin telwin css telwin css so now if you just uh, follow through that one-to-one -one documentation guideline over here so we can just uh, make these things in a pretty much in good mood so as you see the telewin css are in uh, the plugin telewin css the only that one you need that link js telwin uh, preset so here is no preset is available i think it will be somewhere at the bottom where it will no it's not uh recognizing but you need to also install that uh preset here otherwise it will not work properly so that's the one of course required and after that what we need to do we need to go this links.config.ts file here we're gonna just uh, make some documentation here so what i'm gonna do we need to import something so let's say import uh import and that would be from there that plugin uh, okay there's a duplicate here so should be a plugin telwin css of course so it will be a plugin a telwin okay why why this that much working from there we can just copy paste from the docs so like that so now this plugin telwin css is coming from rs build plugin a telwin css so that's the one you need to configure over there and then after that a plugin react linux uh, links and then here we will just need to pass that uh plugin a uh, telwin css and within that parameter we need to define an object here by which it will get the category so we need to pass the config and the configuration it will uh, go through over here so it should be 
tailwind config.ts file that's where the configuration it will be done and we can include and exclude the data by which it can combine all together so if we just go here and uh, like let's go back to the documentation and you see that's the one which we are declaring here just what we are adding here that tailwind config okay i'm gonna make little bit shrink here and little bit from there okay so if we just go back and that's what we are doing we are including and excluding the prop properties here uh, okay i think i cut some parameter yes okay so now what we did we are just configuring the tailwind config.ts file which we're going to create you can just create by npx tailwind in it you can it will automatically generate or you can generate by itself so now what we need to do as you see that's the portion is done here so uh, that will just ignore or that uh, parameter here by which which are ignoring then of course at the top we need to also this rs build plugin setup and you see there is a lot of setup here we can combine so i will just go one by one so after that what we need to do is that at the top over here we need to create one more file which will be tailwind uh tailwind dot config dot ts file so that's the file will be responsible to configure the tailwind configuration and here also we're gonna make that uh let's say links preset it should be uh let's say it should be require uh is equal to require uh i think it will go with note that links json we're gonna just pass that links js so it should be links js okay now what we're gonna do now we can just uh, combine some of that demographic situation by which we can combine our scenario it should be like we're gonna define some dummy colors and as you see that's the same thing but here as import tailwind.config instead of that one we're using that preset because as uh, if it's in uh, if you're just following that rs build this uh if you follow through this documentation still there is some missing there sometimes it works sometimes it's not working by which we are following this parameter using that link just till we preset and from here we are just moved in a jit and preset is links preset and content source then whatever in the source it's gonna get and the parch line it will get and that's the theme color with the color we are going to use so that's the one parameter and again we need to create another file which should be able to that post css dot config dot ts or you can just combine it as a js file so that will be combining that post css class name and for the post css we'll just need to go with the export default the plugins so cast nano and that will be like it's not enb production error otherwise false so that's why that's the how the post css it will work and now what we're gonna do in the source on the app.tsx we need to or I can go with the index.tss here we need to combine that one so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna import it and what we're gonna import we will import at tailwind css then we're gonna go that utilities utilities i think it's not suggesting ut latest yeah it leads to css so that's where the tailwind configuration gonna kick up and after doing the setup what i recommend you to do is that like control c or command c to kill the terminal then npm run dev and of course also you need to do one more setup is that you need to close your application and then you need to open it again because the tailwind is running in the dev server so you know it's better to like rerun again then it will just take the hit if you if you're so if they configured properly maybe it will work but better to like reconstruct now here as you see we have our content right so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna just uh remove this content parameter okay i don't want that content to be appearing and now it's not flex anymore now we will provide the tailwind class name flex and also you're gonna provide the bg blue here just to see if it's working or not now the pretty much as the first attempt it will not look in proper way or it will not look or because this is a sep a separate setup you need to be configured several times okay we uh got the car uh, we got the flex portion but we didn't get the color so we'll check in later on uh again we will make that uh item center uh, item center justify center okay and we can provide a gap here so gap should be let's say we're gonna provide a gap of five and still you see it's not catching up and don't freak out if it's not catching up try to reload again 
again and again it will take several atom to let your uh, flow working properly because it's using uh, some kind of plugin here which is reconstructing the event time to time so now you see the gap is there and of course still maybe a uh, two three attempt it will not give uh, you see the hot module is still now working on that but it's not providing the actual gap okay now if i put the gap you see this module is not working like proper way sometimes it's putting the gap sometimes it's just aligning all together i think the gap five is working other gap is not working and now also if we go with the bg let's say we're gonna provide a red of uh bg red of 500 it's gonna work i think still still the tailwind configuration need to be configured some proper way so if we let's say bg red no blue okay it's still not working that's really uh okay i think i will try one more time so let's just hit reload and of course we need to check in our tailwind configuration we have the purple we have the pink let's try the pink so it should be applied here as the background color as pink anyway it's frustrating it's not getting the background color so I'll, I'll try something to written over here for the text property here so let's say the text should be 3 Excel font should be let's say semi bold and is it working no again need to rerun this property okay now it's working so what you see here there is still a fallback scenario here if we just want to go all of our things to be done here it will not give us the proper portion here if we make flex you see the flex yeah it's getting the flex and if we make that flex column portion it's getting that column portion and i think the item center justify center and some portion is working some portion is not working the way we are looking forward to so as you see the flex column item center is still not working but if we just reload and combine this that will work for sure now as you see that's working so if you're using tailwind css for the first time here you need to be having a very good patience because under the hood there is still working i believe so because it's tailwind css 3 so maybe when the 4 will come the error and other properties it will be uh, removed at all so what i challenge you to reconstruct all of this and like uh remove that dependency from that app.css and create everything is a tailwind so i think that can help you and you're gonna learn uh, you just got the idea how you can combine all together so all the best use tailwind css and also i will pass the link for uh, some of the blog where i just like explain how you can configure this so it will be a very good help for you to go through all of this so all the best and if you're having any doubt any problem let me know in the comments and please like the video and subscribe the channel because a lot of other things is appearing very soon all the best we'll see you in next video